All right, my dear friend, welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful Sunday afternoon here in Southeast Asia. You know, it's Christmas. Merry Christmas to you and your family, wherever you are in Africa. Ghana, Nigeria, Kenya, Uganda, South Africa, any part of the African continent you are. You are highly welcome to the channel, Salon's Blog. I'm grateful you are here with me. Let me hear from you in the comment section. Remember, today is a match day. It is a match day, and we need to relax ourselves and enjoy the match because it's going to be a win for Chelsea. Hopefully, hopefully. Quickly, I don't have much time to waste, but I want to discuss with you my team prediction. My team lineup, yes, quickly, quickly, quickly. Usual suspect Sanchez is not available. So I'm going to go for, in a goal post, George Petrovic. George Petrovic. And I will expect, I will expect Mauricio Pototino to maintain Ian Martin at the left back. I am at the left that I will not expect any missed uh, placement of players tonight at all. 24th night, just as we won the game last time, I will expect an improvement on that. So I am Martin is my left back. On the right back, Malogusto. Yeah, Malogusto at the right back. The center of defense, Thiago Silva and Badia Shelley. So my back four, I am Martin. But they are Shelly, Thiago Silva, and Malogusto. Yes. At the center of the midfield, I will go straight away for Casaido. It is expected. With Casaido at the center of the midfield, double pivot with Conor Gallagher. And just a little ahead of them, the diamond in there will be Kopama. Kopama. Playing the number 10 rule. Modric on the left flank. Yeah, and then Raheem Sterling on the right flank. Modric on the left, Raheem Sterling on the right flank. Now, our striker options. We have Armando Breuer and we have Nicolas Jackson. I will go for Nicolas Jackson. In the second half, I will expect Nkuku to, to come back in the second half, right after the break. I will not expect him to wait until like last 20 minutes, no. I will expect Nkuku to come in just after the break. Just after the break. He's played the first game 20 minutes. And he's, he's been training as well with the squad. So he's getting much fitness gradually. Even though the coach made it clear that he's not going to feature a player that is not 100% fit. Yes, I agree. And I understand. But right now, as it stands, I will expect Nkuku to come in at the start of the second half. Yeah. And when that happens, we will see a change in the game. But for now, my first 11 is... Is Nicolas Jackson heading the attack? Moedric on the left, Sterling on the right. Kopama playing the number 10 role. Kasaido and Galaga double pivot. At defense, I'm Martin, but they're Shelly, Thiago Silva, and Gusto. I'm Martin, the left back. We saw what he did when he came on in the game against Newcastle. And Malugusto at the right back, that is his right his position. He can do the job. He can get the job done. Yes, he can get the job done. All right? Okay, then go post is Petrovic. Merry Christmas to you guys once again. <laughs> it's getting interesting, right? It's getting interesting. Okay, 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 okay. Going to our striker issue. Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news, and it's a good news. Why Arsenal have pulled the plug on their pursuit of Napoli striker Victor Osimen has been revealed. With Chelsea now emerging as a front runner for his signature. Osimhen 24 can stake a genuine claim to being one of the world's best strikers. The Nigerian was simply sensational last season with his 26 league goals firing Napoli to their first Serie A title since 1990. Napoli have struggled to replicate their title winning form this time. Though Osimhen remains a potent force up front. Indeed, prior to Sunday's clash with Roma, Osimhen had scored seven goals in 12 Serie A matches this season. The frontman has been the subject of rampant speculation regarding a blockbuster transfer to England. London pair Arsenal and Chelsea have drawn the most frequent links, with both sides looking in need of a more reliable scorers of goals to lead their lines. 
Gabriel Jesus is operating at roughly one goal in three cents since joining Arsenal from Manchester City. Nicholas Jackson, meanwhile, <laughs> has batted seven goals in 16 league matches for Chelsea. No, it's far from the finished article just yet. Both the Gunners and Blues are expected to explore the center forward market at some stage in 2024. Yeah. Osimen is understood to be on both clubs rather. But according to Football Transfer, according to Football Transfer, which is a reliable source, Arsenal's interest has cooled. Arsenal's interest has cooled. Explaining why the online outlet points the new contract Osman has only just signed. Because Osman just signed a new contract. So Arsenal pull out of the deal. He pulled out, of, I mean, their interest cooled down. So now the way the, the front run right now is only Chelsea. You know, when Arsenal was in, the, in it, we were a bit skeptical because Arsenal has a better chance. They are playing the Champions League and they are still ahead of us on the league table. So naturally, players, who, top strikers would like to go to such clubs that you play European football and even next season, he's assured of playing European football next season. Right now, Chelsea, we cannot assure him of playing European football even next season. Talk less of this season. That has been the problem. All right, Arsenal put off by Mammoth release clause. Osimen put pen to paper on a new and improved contract in Naples that added an extra year onto his deal. Osimen's deal was due to expire in the summer of 2025, though now runs until 2026. According to Fabrizio Romano, Osimen has received a gigantic pay rise as part of the agreement. A release clause has also be, been included. Romano claimed the figure is understood to be worth roughly 130 million euro. According to Sky Italia, they reported the figure is between 120 to 130 million euro. Per football transfers, Arsenal's hope was they would be able to sign Osimen for a far lower sum than what the release clause is set at. So right now, Arsenal is no longer interested in Victor Osimen, according to the report. For now, we know their full attention, focus now will be on Ivan Tony. And that is why Chelsea need to push her, push on. Victor Gekores might not will not be the solution to Chelsea. I, 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 in fact, I am not convinced about Victor Gekores. It is Osimen. Victor Osimen is what Chelsea need right now. With his runs across the back line of op opposition teams. It's Victor Osimen Chelsea need right now. Dear friend, let me end it here. It is match day. And hopefully, Chelsea will win and I will come back to you. My team prediction. Chelsea Wolves, 2-1 in favor of Chelsea. 2-1 in favor of Chelsea. I'll see you in the next one. Remember, it's bet winner. Use my promo code and bet with bet winner. My promo code is team1979. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you're your first time. I love you all and Merry Christmas. See you right after the game. I will be back with exclusives post-match reaction. Shalom and peace.